So we created this whole video and uh, lost the audio to it. So you're going to see Mav, you're going to see myself, and I'm going to do a voiceover as much as I can um, just to get you guys the information. Uh, it's a whole video on planting seeds. We did a lot of uh, little tips and tricks during it. I'm going to try to make sure that we catch it all, but at least this way we can do a little bit of a time lapse. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. So here's our Mavi showing us what we are going to be planting. We have the dirt, we have the containers, we have a stick to help judge the depth, um, our labels with the pen. He's just very excited about everything that he gets to help me do. But we got some seeds from Rebel Gardens. We have some tomato seeds from a farm show that we did that stick that he's playing with is going to help us judge the depth for our planting um this rebel garden seeds is a salsa garden that we're doing and it's going to have different tomatoes onions peppers things like that on it we have the jiffy greenhouse kit um Oh, here's where we show the, the different tomatoes that we got from the Pittsburgh Home and Garden Show. Sat down through a class and they gave us the tomato heirloom seeds. And so this is where we're showing you all the different peppers and onions and things we're going to be using. And then we get to the greenhouse kit. And this is the layout we're doing for the greenhouse. And that way we're able to keep track of everything to know where it's going to be going. And so in order to measure how deep everything goes, we're going to use that tape measure and then the stick and we're going to tape off a part at the correct depth. We have the seed starting Jiffy mix here like I just showed you, natural and organic. We're gonna fill up all the holes. <laughs> and we're going to plant the seeds. But Maverick is having a good old time. It's past his bedtime, so he's uh, excited to be able to help. And here, Mavi is showing us how we're going to plant while I get some water ready for the actual planting. Um, they actually give us a grid for planting, but I'm using the other one so that I can use this again. But what we're going to do is we're going to cut open the soil and just start filling up each of the individual pods and it's pretty straightforward Mav's a really good helper helping us make sure that we get enough garden soil in each and every one he's going to be great for supervising <laughs> throughout the process And I realized that we forgot to take some of the stuff out of the bottom of the planting uh, pod. So that had a um, some stakes for measuring or for putting in what you're planting and some food that we could use. But since we're using that Jiffy potting soil, the seed starter, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Matt's helping me clean everything up and thankfully uh, we have a vacuum and my wife is asleep so she didn't see any of uh, the mess that we were making but Mab wants to wash his hands in the water there and I told him he had to go and wash him in the bathroom and we're just making sure that all of the pods like I said are filled with soil that way we don't have any issues whenever we go to water it with um, sinking and exposing the seeds and then we're going to add some water to pre-moisten 
and the soil really swells because it's so dry it will swell whenever you put the water in so make sure that you're putting it in slowly so that it doesn't overload and spill out so we're just making sure all the pods are good after we added the water to it there's water in the bottom there and just check to make sure and it will use like a hydraulic system to bring the water up into the seeds as well so then we went and opened up the seed pack and each seed pack in there is designed to show us what we need for each and every one of the seeds so as you can see i'm going to show you all the seeds that we have we have cilantro different peppers onions things like that but it gives you planting directions on the back the planting directions over almost every single one is plant a quarter of an inch down into the soil so that is what we were going to do as we move forward so here we're just getting ready cleaning everything up getting ready to get planted mav's playing with his planting stick he just wants to poke things so he's been a good helper but we just want to make sure that the pods are good and ready to go so here we're just going to go and over the seeds that we have nothing too fancy and crazy um they we're just looking to make sure that they're all planting at the same depth and we were at the same depth of a quarter of an inch cleaning up a little bit making sure map's good and we put the stake on that end because of the seeds that we got for the farm show they're a set of heirloom tomato seeds and they're all different kinds so whenever we planted them um, there's no way of knowing what they are but we wanted to keep them separate from the salsa garden seeds that we're also going to be installing so now we're just going to measure out the quarter of an inch put a little bit of tape on the stick so that we can poke our holes to plant the seeds after I showed Mavi a couple of them here, he decided to uh, try it himself. He then quickly got bored and left it up to me to finish up the holes while he decided he wanted to try to measure things out. Now I'm going to plant the tomato seeds. Since we're doing random seeds, we don't really know what's going on. We are going to put a couple seeds per hole um, because we want to make sure that at least something will sprout. So it's not always the most thrilling thing to watch. But I'm taking multiple seeds and putting them into the holes that we had poked at a quarter of an inch. Maverick's also helping. But since they're also random seeds, we're not as I'm not being as uniform as I would with a normal. And that allows me to get as many of those seeds as possible in. So now I'm just making my diagram of what seeds I am putting where make sure that as we move forward I don't get messed up with that so on the other end we're going to put the Roma tomatoes on the far end so that whenever the tomatoes are growing I don't mess up my tomatoes as well and keep them separated that's why we're there as far away as possible so now we're just gonna measure out which seeds we want where We are actually leaving the habanero peppers out of it and being able to put together the grid of what we want where. We actually have more seeds than we have spaces to plant or rows to plant. So we're going to be putting a couple of the peppers together depending upon what we want to do. 
we use the Hungarian wax peppers for a lot of things. So we want to make sure that we get plenty of those stuffed peppers, uh, like a pepper relish, pepper mustard, all those kind of things. So we want to make sure that we are getting those taken care of. Now those are the tomato seeds. They look just like the other tomato seeds. So there's no really way of telling from the seeds which one is which. But I put roughly three seeds per hole. That way we can make sure that we get something to sprout in each one. And then they talk about cutting the weakest members off to allow the strong the strongest ones to grow i may try to separate them as they start to grow if i can get away without damaging the root system to be able to get even more plants and now we're just going through and planting everything making sure that everything gets pushed down right and Here's the Marconi peppers. The seeds look like a normal pepper seed. And so we're just going to continue planting, making sure that there's the holes, putting the seeds in, and then when necessary, using the stick to put the peppers down and the seeds in. I have big hands, and so sometimes it's a little difficult to get those seeds into the holes so the stick also helps as kind of a little guide to push them down in So now that we have the seeds all put together and planted, this last one is cilantro. They're much bigger than the others. We are going to gently cover up all the seed holes in order to get them to plant and germinate. I'm not pounding it down or anything. I am just gently covering up the hole that the seed was on. Now the seeds are ready to go and there's some water in the bottom of the tray as I'm gonna show you here. That's gonna cause a hydrostatic effect that will bring the water up into the soil to keep it nice and moist and it will continue to draw it up. And it says a little greenhouse so there's a plastic cover that goes on top. If you don't mess up the seeds, cover that goes on top, it just kind of sits there and it helps the humidity of the seeds as they're going to germinate. And I still have quite a few seeds left over, so we're gonna save those for later. So again, thank you for watching. Um, sorry for the audio. The video is actually a lot cooler than what my voiceover is going to be. But hey, you have to roll with the punches sometimes.
Thank you for watching Bow and Micro Farm. Please stay tuned for more. Um, follow along with us for the seeds. Uh, click the like, subscribe button, leave a comment if you have anything, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.